everybody. It is Tuesday. I'm Richard Osman. Welcome to a very special week on House of Games. It is the House of Champions this week. Four former winners are battling it out to win a very, very special trophy made of solid gold. Not actually made of solid gold. <laughs> Our four former champions are Scarlett Moffat, <laughs> Rick Edwards, Naga Manchetti, and David O'Doherty. <laughs> Welcome back. Now, if you saw Monday's show, it was a battle royale between seats two and three there. Uh, Naga went to tie-break. It did. It, it was, was super tense. close. It was very tense, wasn't it? Rick just nicked it at the last moment. But uh, you're very evenly matched, are you not? Well, I don't know. I'm, I'm a bit intimidated by Rick, actually. Really? Yeah. What, think... it, what is it about the... Uh, Gorgeous, tall quiz show host <laughs> that is uh, that's intimidating you. No idea. Yeah, it's no weird, idea. isn't it? I'm actually, I'm actually quite nice. He is actually. David, yeah, he's quite me. nice. David, yeah. David, you're my actual friend. Yeah. David, yeah. David, yeah. David. Yeah. You're good. David. <laughs> anyway, listen. By which we mean congratulations on your yeah. win yesterday. Quite a thickly veiled congratulations. <laughs> okay. Uh, took home a uh, House of Champions. Golden dartboard. Yeah. So that's good. Uh, can you keep it up, do you think, the rest of the week? I will endeavour to. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Excellent. It'd be lovely if you do that. Scarlet, mm -hmm. um, should we take a little look at the prizes you could win on oh, today's yes, please. show? Oh, yes, please. We have got golden driving gloves. I mean, that's flashy. We've got a golden scented candle, nice. golden <laughs> sunglasses, golden cushion and golden cut glass decanter. Wow. I think posh people have decanters. I'd love to yeah. say that. Would you like a drink from my decanter? Mm. That'd be nice, wouldn't yeah. it? Yeah. So you'd go decanter, do you oh, think? I'm, I'm going to really try. I'm going to really try. I'd yeah. love you to have a win. Uh, David O'Doherty, you're the only person here who didn't actually uh, win a whole week on House of Games. You're a daily winner, so that's great, but uh, <laughs> you don't have a trophy. Oh! He means business. Oh, I didn't. <laughs> I just don't want you to get in my head. I don't want any of wait, this to affect Wait a minute. Me. Two questions. What happened to David O'Doherty? <laughs> and how comes the Fonz is in the studio? <laughs> Look, that was Monday. The week begins on a Tuesday, as we say in Ireland, and yep. also I've spent the night revising. Lovely. It's hard to know what to revise for yeah. your show. Is so it just? I've just revised. I've just revised. I've gone through the internet. Oh, you've done the whole internet? Yeah. <laughs> nice. Shall we take a little look at the weekly leaderboard before we play our first round? Here's how we stand. After the uh, tie break yesterday, Rick took four points. Nagger, you have three. Scarlet, two. David, just the one. Should we play again? Yeah. It's going to be yeah. a very competitive week. Let's take a look at who is going to win Tuesday's House of Champions. Our first game is. The answers in the question. Now, in this, I'm going to give you all a series of questions. The answer is an anagram of the capital letters inside the question. So the answer is hidden away. We'll go down the line. Your first category is films that have won Oscars. So, Scarlett, here is yours. Delivering a line wasn't difficult for John Hurt, even with a creature bursting out of his chest after he ate spaghetti. I am actually named after someone in this movie. No way. Yeah, my name's Scarlett Sigourney. It not wow. is not. Wow. Are yeah. you kidding me? No, because my mum and dad had a game of Scrabble to determine who would choose my first name, and my mum chose Scarlett from Gone with the Wind, and my dad chose Sigourney from Alien. So if, if your dad had won that game of Scrabble, you'd be called Sigourney Scarlett? Uh-huh. Wow. Uh, anyway, the, the, What's the answer? Sorry. Alien. Alien. OK, here we go. <laughs> Imagine if Scarlett said gorillas in the mist. <laughs> <laughs> uh, alien is the right answer. And a gram of a line there. Well done, Scarlett. Uh, Rick Edwards, here's your Oscar winning yeah. film. Uh, the answer is in the question. The victims of this movie's hero realise too late that this gent is actually a con man. Well, I don't think I know it. We're going to time you out? Yeah, I think you, yeah, you, think you can time else? me out. Yeah, you can time me out. Hey, anyone want to buzz yeah. in on this? I don't know it. Anyone? Anyone else? Uh, oh! I don't, I don't... It's the sting. The sting. Oh, oh. No. of course it's the sting. Also, frustratingly, one of my favourite films. <laughs> 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 that is annoying. Well, Very well done if you said the sting at home. Um, terrific answer. Unlucky Rick, just came too late. Naga, let's take a look at yours, shall we? As he recovers from his injuries, Marion Ravenwood has a kiss for a rattled hero in a famous love scene on a boat. Uh, kiss for a rattled hero in a famous love scene. 
Uh, should we time you out, Nega? Yeah. Yep, we'll time you out. Anyone else want to buzz in? Titanic. <laughs> no, I know it's not Titanic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, it doesn't look like Titanic. Does yeah. It? yeah, you're right. Let's take a look at the answer. Oh! oh come on. Raiders of the Lost Ark. Very well done if you said that. David, what Oscar winning film are we looking for here? As their governess teaches them to sing and begins with Do Re, the children, although momentarily confused, shout me in response. I. Um, you know this one. Yeah, I yeah. do know this yeah, one. I'm do. trying to drag out the tension, though, just to annoy the nerds here, Scarlett. <laughs> <laughs> is it the sound of music? Is it the sound of music? Of course it is. Well done, David Adoherty. <laughs> we go down the line again. The next category is children's authors. Scarlett, here is yours. In the big screen adaptation of this author's stories, Jim Carrey in the role of Count Olaf, is often seen to intensely mock the orphan heroes. Oh, my God, I don't know. No, nope, we'll time you out. Mm -hmm. Look at O'Doherty. He, he's buzzing. David. Um, I believe it uh, to be Lemony Snicket. Lemony Snicket is the answer. And that's well, what we have time for on House of Games today. <laughs> Enjoy, and we'll see. That's it. That's the end of the week as well. So, well done to our champion, David. We're only halfway through the first round. You've already got double the amount of points you got in the whole show last time. <laughs> Rick Edwards, what children's author, are we hiding here, please? In this author's famous story, one of the most important plot points concerns the web. I think. No, I think nope. you probably have to time me out we'll there. Time you out? Yeah. Anybody else got it? <laughs> yes, Scarlett. Beth? We? Is it Beth We? <laughs> 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 I'm it, sorry to say that I was um, messing about with Beth We as well. <laughs> yeah, not Beth We. Anyone? It's the most famous book containing a web, I think. Charlotte's it's Web. Charlotte's, Charlotte's Web. web. I don't know is who it's by. Is it E.B.? She's... She's got two letters at the start, but I can't remember her name. Yeah. Shall I tell you? Yeah. E.B. White. <gasps> oh! E.B. White. Naga, one for you. A famous book by this author tells the story of a dog called Pongo and his odd time attempting to rescue his rather large family. So I know the film. And I know the book. Um, but I just don't know who wrote it. You might as well time me out. Time me out straight away? Mm. Anybody? <laughs> Having trouble with our uh, children's authors? Should I tell you all? Mm. Yes, please. Dodie Smith. Ah. Dodie mm. Smith is the answer. This has been a high octane round so far, David. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I wonder if you can score us a point here. Here is your question. You might see a child beam on hearing this author's stories about an accident prone bear. Um, David, I don't want to hurry you, but look, look at these three. <laughs> yeah, no, so, so, no, yeah. No, we time you out. This is, wait, we've got ourselves an old-fashioned buzzer race. <laughs> oh, the, other I three. See. the second that turns red. Yeah. Naga, what no! reactions? The reactions of a cobra. <laughs> Michael Bond. Michael Bond, yeah, yeah, writer. Nice. Well done, Naga. Michael Bond is the answer. That is the end of that first round. Let's take a look at the scores, shall we? Well, look at this, Rick. Yet to get off the mark. Scarlett, Naga, you have one. Look at him. The shades <laughs> on. The Fonz himself, David O'Doherty, with two points. <laughs> well done, David. Let's get straight on with round two, shall we? The pairs game. We know that, but what pairs game is it going to be? Coats emoji. Player in last place gets to choose their partner. Mm. Uh, the player in last place is yesterday's champion, Rick mm. Edwards. I thought we had a we had a great team yesterday, Scarlett. <laughs> but <laughs> you're gonna mix it up a bit. I think I'm gonna mix it yeah, up. Yeah, that's and fine. And I'm gonna go with the form player. <laughs> yeah. Which I'm amazed to say is David. <laughs> Nagra and Rick, if you change places, please. <laughs> 
We've got this. Mm -hmm. Angus and Scott too. at their team. <laughs> Just don't feel nervous. You're with the big dog now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at those two. It would be, listen, I, I, you know I'm impartial, always. Always will be on this show, always will be on every show I do. I'd mm. absolutely love if you stuff them on this round. <laughs> so would we. Yeah. Yeah, we that would be nice. Oh, so right. would Britain. <laughs> now, before the show, you all sent me a clue to a 90s TV show, OK? But you were only allowed to use emojis, all right? What you're now going to have to do, you're going to have to decipher the emojis that your partner sent me before the show, OK? Naga, we will start with you. You're going to have to decipher this 90s TV show which Scarlett described using emojis. Supermarket screen. Oh, I mean, <laughs> without <laughs> hesitation. That's yeah. brilliant. That is beautifully yeah. done, Scarlett, yeah. and very well played. Nagra as our well. supermarket <laughs> sweep. David, I wonder if you might be able to decipher this 90s TV show which Rick sent me. I found this quite difficult myself. <laughs> okay. <laughs> to the extent that when I look back at it, I was like, what was I describing? <laughs> <laughs> OK, fingers crossed. Uh, yeah. David, which 90s TV show is this, please? Dancing, fe fencing, mm. then um, Olympic handball, trophy, uh, s more, more fencing. I think it might be Superstars. The show with lots of different yeah. activities involving different sporting events. Clever. Rich, Rick has clearly signalled using this huge number of emojis. Very, very clever. Rick Edwards, is it Superstars? Superstars, the 1980s TV show. Yeah, well... Uh... Just not, I'm afraid. You, we, we don't pass it across, but please... But oh, you, you, you can oh, oh, I think it. I know what it is. Oh, what do you think it is? It's Gladiator. It's Gladiator. Oh, no! I'm be very, very happy for David to lose a point. <laughs> <laughs> this is why you paired up with me. You're trying to take me down from within. Uh, it was... Uh, I thought that was I'm very good way of doing... I'm not the enemy inside. Gladiators. Scarlet. Yes? Scarlet, you gave a great clue to Naga. Uh, Naga is now going to give a clue that you need to decipher. I'm what, sorry. Which 90s That's TV right. show is this? I think it's Crystal Maze. Yes! Is it Crystal yeah, Maze? Very it? well oh, done. Yeah. <laughs> nice that's how I got it. Sweet Carl Maze. Maze. Yeah. yeah. Oh! That's how I got that. Yeah. That's how I got that. That's amazing. That's what happens when people's minds are aligned, you see. Mm. Rick, I have yeah. good news. Speaking of which, <laughs> David has sent me a clue to a 90s television show. He's put his shades on. <laughs> Put his shades on, so I think he's pretty confident. Let's take a look, shall we? Rick, what 90s TV show is this, please? <sighs> that is not bad. That right. is... OK. 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 What have we... Ah, oh, lovely okay. work by me. OK. So, we've got The Sun. <sighs> France dead... Wave. <laughs> Sun front dead wave, is grave. that your answer? <laughs> grave, grave, grave wave. Waving from beyond the grave. <laughs> one foot in the grave. I mean, if, it, if that's one foot, if, you've, if that is one foot in the grave, I'll be absolutely fuming. Because <laughs> I feel like it's quite an easy way of doing that. <laughs> it isn't that. <laughs> OK. Uh, a low, a low. A low, a low. I mean, it would do well to be a low, a low. <sighs> Shall we, shall we time you out? Yeah, I think so. I mean, my guess... Yeah, I'm going to say... I'm amazed I'm saying I'm going to say <laughs> hello, hello. I realise it isn't hello, hello, but um, I'm saying... Dear, dear, I wonder if you can talk us through your yeah, cool. workings cool. and then yeah, give, yeah, us the, uh, give us the title of the nice. show. Yeah. So, go on, what about this sun? OK. <laughs> sun symbolises many things. The start <laughs> oh, of the... Well, perfect, then. <laughs> the start of the day, a.k.a. the dawn, that is the flag of France, yes. people from France are said to be French. Oh, no, I've got, are you... Is and it then, the Vicar of Dibley? <laughs> it's the Vicar of Dibley! I've, so you... So so Dawn, that is the Vicar of Dibley. <laughs> Dawn French. Oh, my. The Vicar of <laughs> Dibley. Dawn French. <laughs> I mean, listen, if anybody at home did decipher that, then uh, that is... Dawn French. Dawn Dawn that, French. When I sent that to you, I was like, job done. You know what I mean? Well, yeah. Vicar of Dibley, there you go. Listen, I mean, who would have thought? Who saw that coming? Not Nobody. me. That is the end of that round. Um, Rick and Naga, if you're swapped round again, I would please. love to. That team, <laughs> that team works very nicely. Out. But we have. <laughs> oh, here are the scores.
Rick, weirdly, still yet to get off yeah. the mark, oh, even dear. despite David's help. <laughs> David. <laughs> David, you got yourself two points. We have joint leaders. It is Scarlett and Naga with three yeah, points each. Well, so Scarlett and Naga. Oh, shall we do another round? <laughs> yes. Here we go. Round three today is... This round is in code. Now, in this round, we're going to give you answers in various categories, but they are all written in code. OK, the code is a very simple one. 1 equals A, 2 equals B, 3 equals C, and so on, down yep. to uh, 26 equals Z. Mm -hmm. Your first category is... Pasta shapes. Here is your first one. Rick. Penne. It is penne. Oh, oh, well Next pasta shape. That's Rick. Fusilli. He's very, very oh quick on this. How can you be so good at this and so bad at just identifying? Yes. <laughs> it's so interesting. What was the difference in the oh. last round? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Next pasta shape. Naga. Tagliatelli. Oh, beautiful. Wow. This has been very well played so far. Your next category is... Outlaws and Gunslingers. Ooh. Who are they, please? They're written down in code. <laughs> yes, Naga. Oh, no, I was going to say Billy the Kid, but it's wrong. It is not, I'm afraid. It's... Oh, and... oh, can I say it again? You cannot. David. Bonnie and Clyde. Mm. Well played. It's Bonnie and Clyde. Nicely done. Final one in this category. Yes, Rick. Wire up. Wow. wow. So well played. Next category is... Seaside Towns is your first one. Yes, David. Skegness. Well played. It's Skegness. Nicely done. Next Seaside Town. Naga. It's not what I thought. I need an answer, sorry. I'll time you out. Shall I tell you? David. Is it Morecambe? Is it Morecambe? <laughs> Final seaside town. Naga. Western Supermare. Western Supermare. Oh. Very nicely worked out. That is the end of that round. Two rounds to go. Let's see where we are on the leaderboard. Very close now. Scarlett and Rick, you both have three points. Joint leaders, Nagger and David, five points each. Mm. Yeah. 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 That's scented candle. That'll be nice, <laughs> right? Try and... Two rounds to go. Round four on Tuesday's House of Games, House of Champions, is... Question Writer's Day Off. Now, on Question Writer's Day Off, this is how it works. Our question writers work very hard. You've seen that all the way through the show, so occasionally I give them the day off. When I do give them the day off, their children write the questions. Every single one of the questions in this round genuinely been written by one of the kids of our question writers. So those are the uh, kids who've written questions for this round. I'm going to go along the line. You're just going to choose a kid whose question you would like to answer, OK? Scarlett, who would you like to choose? Hey. The younger ones are usually a little bit more left field. I, I'll say that. I got the three-year-old question right. Last time it was what begins with J and it was jam. <laughs> let's go Nola. Oh, yeah, yeah let's go okay. Nola. Nola asks, is my hair curly? I'm going to say yes, because she eats the crusts. Is that the correct answer? <laughs> That's the right answer. <laughs> Nola says yes. She said, because Daddy had curly hair, brackets, but now it's all gone. Oh, <laughs> that's cute. I like Nola. Well played, Nola. <laughs> Point to Scarlett. Um, Rick, who would you like to go with um, here? I'll go Raphael, I think. You're going to Raphael? Yeah, please. This is Raphael's question, seven years old. Who of the American presidents had the longest presidency? Raphael. Good Raphael, question, isn't it? that's a good question that I don't know the answer to. Oh, I, I love Raphael. Um, Eisenhower. 
not, I'm afraid. Anyone else want to buzz in? Since you've played a game of Name the President. Naga. Is it Hoover? Was it Hoover? Michael. Michael <laughs> Hoover! <laughs> uh, it wasn't Hoover. Yes, Scarlett. Is it... the Bush? Is it the Bush? Like, the president who had his last name was Bush. Do you mean You're President Bush? Bush? Yeah. Which, right, the reason you're president doing this is because you Bush. know there are two of them. Ch president so the George old, Bush. The older? The oldest one. His dad. Was ah, it his dad? Ah, was it George Bush Sr.? Yeah. It was not, I'm afraid. Oh. David, just you left. Um, I'm, I, I mean, so I'm going to imagine Raphael has gone right back and possibly George Washington had a long presidency. You want to buzz in and say George Washington? I'm going to say George Washington. Incorrect. Let's see the answer, shall we? A very good question, Raphael. You stumped everyone yeah. here. The answer was Franklin D. Roosevelt, oh. ruled for 12 uh, years. Yeah. You can only rule for eight years now, but that, that rule was brought in in the 1950s, says Raphael. So FDR, the only one ever to serve 12 years. Mm. You see, they're seven years old, but sometimes the questions are very tricky. Uh, Naga, I wonder whose question you would like to choose. Kaya, because I like the name. Kaya, nine years old Kaya. Here is Kaya's question. Why do people think bats are blind? Well, has it got something to do with night? As in, well, they can't see, so that's why they can fly at night. Or is it because you can't see their eyes? Their eyes are really small. Oh, that's a good one. That's a blind. Because they fly, they, they fly in their faces and scare them. OK, is it because they fly in their faces and scare them? <laughs> it's not, I'm afraid. I'm looking for something. You can skirt around this answer a bit, but uh, Rick, what are you going to say? Because it's not the, the primary sense that they use for navigation. Because they use echolocation. Kaya. That's exactly what I'm looking for, oh, echolocation. Because they use echolocation yeah. to fly around, so people think uh. they can't see, but actually they can. Uh, Kaya says, she explains it, some bats actually have better eyesight than humans. There you go, certainly better than me. Uh, but echolocation was exactly what I was looking for. Well played, Kaya, well played, Rick. David, final question in this round. I think what I've learned is I'm going to go right down the middle and go to hit Zach up, please. You're going to go Zach five. Zach is asking you, what colour is my sword in Minecraft? Oh, my goodness. So, Minecraft... <laughs> <laughs> it's a good question. It is really good. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I feel, you know, if you went to the trouble of developing your own sword, you just wouldn't make it sword coloured. You know, okay. like a, a classic silver or brown or green or something like that. Yeah, classic not brown. Like the gladiators would use. Classic brown yeah. or green sword, yeah. <laughs> you, you jazz it up a bit. So, um, I'm going to say... I mean, I would like a yellow sword. I'm going to say... Look at these three. <laughs> You're going to say yellow? I'm going to say Zach's sword in Minecraft is yellow. Is it yellow? Has David got into the head of a five-year-old? I mean, how have you done that? <laughs> it is absolutely sensational. Zach would have got I mean, the Vicar of Dibley. Yeah, Zach, you know what? <laughs> Zach is sitting at home going, I thought Vicar of Dibley was easy. <laughs> that is amazing. Uh, yeah, Zach uh, says it's yellow. He said it's made of gold. That's why it's yellow. Yeah. Um, wow. That was incredible. That was extraordinary. <laughs> That's the end of that round. Thank you so much to all the children who wrote the questions in that round. Let's take a look at our scores before we go into Answer Smash. Here's how we are. That was unbelievable. <laughs> oh, I mean, this is how we like it before the final round. This is how we like it. Scarlett and Rick have four, Naga five, David in a lead with six points. Two points between the lot of them. Go. Get your shades off. Here we go. Here we go, final round. You know what it's going to be? It is. Answer smash. Anyone's game here. Two points between the lot of you. And in this round, don't forget, point for a correct answer, point off for an incorrect answer. Rick won Monday's show on a tie-break from Naga. They tied at the end of it. Who is going to win Tuesday's House of Champions? Let's find out, shall we? The first category is... Famous Jacks. Fingers on buzzers, everyone. Best of luck. 
Which actor played the title role in the William Wyler film Ben Hur? That is David. Jack Charlton Heston. It is Jack Charlton Charlton Heston. Well done. Next, Jack. Alana Miles reached the UK top ten in 1990 with which song? That is David. Jack Black Velvet. Oh. Jack Black Velvet. He's got another one. Jack Black, Black Velvet. Jack Black Velvet. Nicely done. If he wins this whole show, I mean. <laughs> oh, look at, look at this. <laughs> now we're talking. Now, one thing we know now is the wheels are going to come off. <laughs> that is for sure. And I'm going to look so yeah. stupid. <laughs> Here's your next category. Garden Wildlife. In motor racing, what term is used for the best position on the starting grid? Yes, Rick. <clears throat> Tadpole position. I'll just about give you that. Oh, that is outrageous. It's, uh, I wouldn't, it was that second longer, I wouldn't have had it. But, oh. uh, it is tadpole, tadpole position, tadpole position. Next one. In golf, what name is given to a score of one stroke under par for a hole? Yes, Naga. Lady Birdie. Lady Birdie. Well played, Lady Bird and Birdie. I'm just going to take this off. <laughs> <laughs> it does seem to be cursed. <laughs> the next piece of garden wildlife. With which single did Westlife achieve their third UK number one in 1999? Yes, David. Butterflying without wings. Is it Butterflying without wings? Done it again. As <laughs> soon as the shades come off, <laughs> <laughs> they're back on. Next category. No more categories. We are done for Tuesday's House of Champions. Whoa. Oh, wow. Yesterday, Rick Edwards won in a tiebreak with Naga, who has won today's House of Games Champions special. Let's take a little look, shall we? Our winner today is. David O'Doherty, well done. Nice. How Ooh. about that? I mean, he, I he pulled back from Dawn French, didn't he? Yeah, he that did. That was amazing. David, congratulations. Well, the other three, uh, they've all got trophies. You're the, you're the only one here who's just a, a daily winner. And yet, look at you now. What prize would you like to go for? I dedicate, excuse me, one moment. I dedicate this win to anyone who ever told you that that can't happen. Anything is possible if you dream. Thank you. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I want a scented candle with your face on it. Hey, you're going for the House of Games golden scented candle. David O'Doherty takes out a scented candle. Congratulations, David. Terrific win. Should we take a little look at the weekly leaderboards? Two days down, someone's going to take home the golden trophy at the end of the week. At the moment, this is how we stand. Scarlett, you have three. Ooh. David, you have five. Nagger and Rick are at the top there. Six points each. Been lovely today. It was lovely yesterday as well. See you all same time, same place tomorrow. We'll see you as well, same time, same place as well on the House of Games. Smell off, David. It smells like uh, someone who doesn't understand my sweet emoji game. <laughs>